Hey guys, it's Joe here with Chris and the Good Old Gamer, and tonight we are doing something maybe a little different. We want to do a PSA, a public service announcement. This is something that if any of you are really into gaming, you've probably been on forums or on Reddit, and you've probably seen in a bunch of different places because it has really gotten out of hand the last few years, and it's only getting worse. Um, the concept of pre-ordering and why it is a bad, bad thing to do and why it's just it's it's just you wasting your money or not necessarily wasting your money but you putting your money out for a product that you have no guarantees on and the track record from the developers and publishers is simply that it does not pay to do so we want well let's face it, it there's it's no different than just playing roulette i mean that's like walking You're into right. a casino exactly. and just saying red fifty dollars you know, I mean, at, and that's 50-50 odds. I mean, at this point, shit, we're probably talking more like 30% at best. Absolutely. So. It's, it's a type of gambling. I mean, it's almost like an investment. You're putting money down in the hopes of getting your return on it. But the problem is it seems to be the worst type of investment prop, uh, you know, that you can you can do because you're putting $60 in, maybe 30 but most likely $60 into a game, and you're not getting – you're going to end up getting a game most of the time that doesn't quite meet the expectations. It's very rare that uh, I've seen anyway in the last few years that pre-ordering the game has turned into something worthwhile. Case in point, the last game that I pre-ordered, and I regret this completely, was The Division. And it turned out to be a game that while at first I thought was you know visually interesting and had a lot of good things going for it, uh, the, the shine wore off pretty quick. And I realized how shallow and, and what kind of shell of a game. And I know, Chris, you realized it much sooner than I did with that game. But I pre-ordered it, and I am very sad that I ever did that. And that was after I pre-ordered the Destiny expansions, you know, like the Dark Below and whatnot, and the utter failure that were those expansions. And, and I mean, pre-ordering has not been good to me. How about you? Well, the last game that I can really remember pre-ordering, like, you know, when I think of pre-ordering, I think of going to a store. And one of the big ones what, that just struck me was uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Oh, God. Yeah, you want to talk about colossal failure. I know there's a lot of people out there nowadays changing their tune, going, oh, the game's not that bad. It's okay. We actually did game reviews back then. And, uh, no, it was a piece of shit then when I reviewed it, and that game's a piece of shit today. Uh, I actually tried playing it again. I was like, maybe I was just in a bad mood. Maybe, you know, whatever. No, the game's fucking awful. Um, but anyways, pre-ordering as a whole used to have some sort of benefit. Nowadays, they try to give you some free downloaded crap, which, in all honesty, most of us never even use that. Uh, I know Arkham Knight, oh my god. All the different pre-orders you could get from different places, and all the different stuff you could get with the different pre-orders. No one got a complete game. So, but yeah, I, absolutely. but I mean, it's it's pretty much irrelevant. I mean, that pre-order code nonsense. I never activate any of that shit anyway. I mean, if it's not good enough to be part of the game stock, it's not even worth me punching the damn code in. That's the way I feel about that nonsense. See, back way back when, when I was a kid, when you know pre-ordering was a good thing. Uh, you got the game early when you pre-ordered. If the game launched on a certain day, you can usually get it about a week early if you pre-ordered a game. That, to me, was a tangible benefit when I was a kid. So if there was like a game, like Star Fox 64 was a big one. I literally called Toys R Us every day, like about <laughs> starting about a month before the game came out. And I called them every damn day until they got them in. And they were allowed to release them. Or maybe they weren't allowed, but back then there was no internet and really nobody gave a crap. Uh, that's probably what was more likely happening now, you know, when you think about it. But regardless, that was a real benefit. You know, I'm putting my money up front, and they're risking their business license. So to me, that's a fair trade. What the hell do you get now? You get some downloaded costumes? That's, like I said, if you're even wasting your time punching those codes in, it's not even worth it, in my opinion. No, I hear you. Um, I, I just brought up Arkham Knight because that game was ridiculous with the amount of different things you could get with a pre-order. But the reason this came up tonight is because No Man's Sky, and maybe this is more geared towards PC gamers because especially when you're talking about a console game that's getting a PC port, 
um this becomes really important look at again arkham knight but look at you know looking at no man's sky i mean there are a lot of youtubers uh, that are talking about it you can go and see that anybody who's a streamer will no longer stream the game because the performance is just that bad and i think total biscuit himself said that it is arkham knight bad as bad as that game was and if you know how bad arkham knight was when it first came to pc uh, you know that's that's some bad stuff that's bad mojo so what we're talking about is the fact that you should know better by now than to pre-order a game it is not a good investment please if if there's anything we can help people with this is one of the main things that needs to get out there stop pre-ordering games you are just giving your money to companies that don't care if the game's good they just see that they made so many sales they don't call of duty shit. right they don't they don't give a shit if they've actually produced a good game they made their money so they don't care if the game sucks if you get pissed off after they've already got your money they don't care that's the bottom line and it seems like that people are, are stuck in in finding nemo and and they're in they in their dory and you know oh my god that game was terrible i can't believe i pre-ordered and ooh a new pre-order i mean that's the reality every time we get burned we forget about it we have the memory of goldfish and we just see a new game coming out and they show us some amazing demo at e3 or whatever and we get so excited and go oh my god i mean that's what i did I mean, Chris, how many times did I tell you I was done pre-ordering after the Destiny debacles that was, that was the DLC? And then what uh -huh. did I do? I went ahead and pre-ordered uh, The Division. And I that's uh, even a, and that was even after I told you that it was going to be crap yeah. after we played the open beta. Because at that point, I knew the game was going to be just trash. I, I, you're right. And I, I, I had my goldfish moment, and I said, you know what? That looks good. You know what I mean? I, I got to get that. I got to get me some of that. And I forgot everything i pre-ordered in the past and have pretty much always been disappointed so if you've had a bad experience most likely you have and most likely of all your experiences pre-ordering most of them have turned out to be not worth it it's not like the game's not going to be available on day one anymore we talk about old bonuses for actually pre-ordering that used to be one of the main ones it would be hard to find the game on launch day mm -hmm. so you pre-ordered okay and that was a tangible benefit you made sure you got the game even that wasn't a great benefit, but still a good benefit. I don't know, man. When Pokemon came out, like, I wasn't one of the first people to get that. And holy shit, was that a bitch to find. So, you know, back then, it would literally take you maybe two, three weeks to find a game. Yes. And, you know, you're crawling the ends of the earth. You know, that little hole-in-the-wall comic book store that, you know, you think you're going to get molested in. You know, you got to, you know, you got to risk it, you know. To get that game especially like pokemon was huge when we were kids if you didn't have it pretty much you got beat up at school exactly. but uh you know and, and it was a great game and but you know i went to the ends of the earth to find that thing and like how you were saying that that was a tangible benefit i have it i know i'm gonna get it legend uh what was it ocarina of time was another oh my big god one. absolutely if you didn't pre-order that you weren't seeing it until the following christmas that was just the way it was yeah so, i mean and th this is this is the reality so Please stop pre-ordering games. It, it, it doesn't benefit anybody but the company that's producing the game. Okay? That's just the reality. It's not going to benefit you in the long run. If the game is that good, wait for the reviews. Usually you can find day one reviews, although sometimes there are embargoes and they don't get to review a game until they don't even get the game until the, the day it's released. I mean, that happens. But for the most part, you can find reviews within a day or two of the game being released wait be patient show some patience it's a virtue give yourself a couple days read some reviews try to make a better decision because a lot of times the games aren't worth it looking at you you know ubisoft or ubisoft however you want to pronounce it they produce a lot of games that just aren't up to snuff i mean you got to wait for updates and things like that a lot of companies do that and you end up wasting your money initially to be better served just to wait so please let's let's stop the whole pre-ordering madness it's it's just not doing the consumers any good in all honesty i i've yet to see any game in the past two years not drop twenty dollars within a month and a half That's if you also can true you know just give it a month and a half uh updates will be there you'll have enough information there'll be plenty of reviews out there there'll be third party smaller companies like us here on youtube smaller uh people that'll give you you know more genuine feedback instead of your canned IGN responses. Um, 
and you'll have enough information. Plus, you'll also save, you know, 10 or 20 bucks. So, you know, if you can't wait a month and a half, I mean, there's a few games like uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm going to buy that regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and get that just because I love the Deus Ex series. I mean, it could be a giant pile of dog shit, and I'm still going to buy it. It's pretty much regardless. But those are maybe one or two games a year that are like that. The rest of them, yeah, I could wait a month, two months, and most of you guys can too. So as Joe's saying, just stop throwing your money away at these guys. Let them earn your business, and until they start earning your business, Call of Duty is still going to be a big thing, and just crap games like that, and try to support some of the smaller games out there um, that really kind of need that extra support and that are generally worth it. There so. are a ton of games that are $15, $20 at the most, indie titles, you know, especially a lot of the, some of the new ones, just to mention them, like This is the Police and Starbound, Stardew Valley, Firewatch, Undertale, or even old ones like the Banner Saga, the Banner Saga 2. I mean, these are great games that sure might not light your screen up with the most amazing visuals, but have incredible depth and gameplay to them. So if anything, save your money and get games that are reviewed positively, even indie titles that have the features you're looking for, the gameplay and stuff, maybe not the graphics. That's just another PSA for another time. But in the end, I just want to reiterate, please stop pre-ordering. You're not, hurt. You're not helping. You're only hurting. That's all I got. All right, guys, thank you again for taking the time to watch the video. If you like what we're doing, feel free to like the video. You can also subscribe. If you don't like us, again, as I say in every video, feel free to subscribe as well and tell us why you hate us. We want to see it each and every video. And I like the fire that, in their eyes, Joe. I like oh, absolutely. Fire. You want to feel the heat. I want mm -hmm. to see all caps. Tell me exactly why you hate us. I want and, to know. And, my, and my mom. Oh, and, absolutely. Got to know why you hate my mom. I mean, I know you do. So let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, you have a good night, and we'll see you in the next video.